on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Just then, everyone starts to gaze upon the lifeless corpse of one Hizashi Midoriya. Seeing there is a bullet hole in his uh, right temple. Everyone looks in utter shock and horror, but none as surprised as Izuku. Him turning his head looking back as Nagant is gone. Police are called, heroes are alert, they start searching and scanning the whole area trying to find out where the shot came from, who could have shot it. It's just the fact that when they're looking, it's that's peculiar. How would that be possible? Who's that skill with a sniper rifle to make a shot like that, especially in a crowd like this? A police officer escorts Izuku home, where his mother's waiting, crying, worried about him. Yeah, much more than her dead husband, which does raise the officer's suspicions. But seeing how they're living, just because you're rich doesn't mean you're happy. Yeah, and goes, she's wondering, who did he piss off to do this? Is it you? He heads straight to his room. You knew. Hmm? You knew he was there listening to our conversation. But you kept on talking, saying where you would be. Yeah. Why? To test his resolve to being a father. So, judging from the fact that I killed him, no. We killed him. As now we have a little flashback. See, Hazashi was going in to talk to Izuku about another job he was getting ready to pull. This is about the time when Nagant was there. She knows he was there, but kept talking, of course. So Hazashi not only Heard everything she said about people wanting him taken out as well as possibly Izuku. He also heard the whole plan as well as, okay, I'm going to do my best to not die that day. Interesting. And he went on like nothing was wrong. On the day of the incident, Hizashi was in a huge crowd of people just walking around, nothing really suspicious, and if anything, he was mainly looking at Izuku's reaction, trying to see, okay, he's calm, maybe I should be too. It's only when... A shock can be heard that Azashi does something very fucked up. He puts Izuku right in the line of fire. When Izuku was actually turning his head, looking behind him, he sees a glimmer of a rifle. Azashi doing the same thing, but played off like, a, what are you looking at? Him knowing exactly where Nagant was. 
what he decided to do was put Izuku right on his shoulders. He knew that, well, let's see how much they want to kill me. I got kept telling them. To the point where Izuku wasn't even paying much attention anymore, thinking uh, maybe she gave up. And so, Hazashi thought this too. However, he got, actually caught a glimpse of something through his sunglasses. He sees the shine of a rifle, and, and by instinct, picked up Izuku and spun him around. Last thing Izuku saw before I, the bullet went through was a mixture of shock, fear, and <laughs> all in all, what the hell. Izuku knew exactly what his dad was doing, made it so he took the bullet instead of him. So Izuku moved the bullet. He created a portal behind his back and aimed it right at Hazashi's head, killing him. Which is why everyone was like, how was someone this good a sniper? And now we're all caught up. So you knew he was going to do this. No. I was hoping he wouldn't. But there's always a possibility. And what if I didn't... Help? You would've... Taken the bullet. Or you probably would've redirected it somewhere else. Un keeping the, both of you unharmed. It depends on how much faith you truly had in your dad. And judging from your actions, you didn't have much. At least not anymore. As Hisuku just starts tearing up, Magan's like, wait, what's wrong? I didn't want any of this to happen. I just wanted us to be happy family again. I thought if I helped him, maybe things would get better, but never did. No matter how many things we stole, how many places we robbed from, it was never enough. From artwork, jewelry, just a cold hard cash, it, it didn't matter to him. It, he always needed more. I, I didn't know what to do. I couldn't stop him. I couldn't reason with him. Nagan pretty much just patting him on the back. <sighs> Tell you what. I'll talk to the Hero Association. Seeing if they can find a way for you to join us. Be like you? No. Be a hero. I have a lot of blood on my hands. You don't. I still, I know, but you had no choice. It was either him or you. Was it the right one? I don't know. But either way, I'll talk with him. 
as months go by, they've had a Sasashi's funeral, and it turns out he actually did have a life insurance policy. In which, yeah, now they have a lot more than before. Though, yes, he has some suspicious artwork. No one could really prove whether it was a authentic or not without the copy or original to you can say see which is which so all far they can say is like uh, well he said he painted it himself maybe he did maybe he didn't how are you gonna know unless you have the original to compare Heck, everything that the original artist pretty much used is available today. It's just hard to get, and you have money, it becomes a lot easier. When it comes to taxes, the way he it showed up was in some different places of some. Uh, not so nice characters hiring Hasashi for a job or two as long as he paid them on time you could say Inko she did love Hasashi part of her still does but that wasn't the man she married not anymore she had to move on. Hopefully she'll find someone better. Time will tell she does, but who knows? Just then, Isuku sees... Hmm? Wait, is that a shell casing? As he just walks right up to his window and sees Nagan in a tree. What is it? Alright. They're going to raid your house. What? what? Yes, they're going to be looking for everything, and I do mean everything, that your father potentially stole. They're going to come with a full warrant. They're going to look for everything. But... I... What? We want you to be arrested too. If not you, your mom is gonna face flack for this. Cause if they find anything incriminating, as well as no, 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 they they can't do that. It's like, I'm sorry, they they can, but I don't know what is gonna happen afterward. But they said that. What? They can't help you there. They they don't want someone. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Tell them to search all they want. They ever want? They they'll never find anything. What? Izuku making a portal and going back to his room. Just then, police break in. SWAT team. Hell, even heroes show up and start raiding the place. Trying to look for anything that could either tie, you know, Hazashi, Inko, even Izuku to God knows how many thefts that Izuku had helped Hazashi commit. Like you said, after hours of searching, they don't find a thing. Nothing incriminating that could... What? How do you know they want to find anything? I just knew. As in... Naga did something that she was not supposed to. She actually walks up 
to Izuku's door and knocks. Is Ingo, um, hello? Who, who are you? Are you here to harass us? No, no. I just would like to talk to your son. Why? I can assure you there's nothing to worry about. I'm not here to hurt him. I just want to talk. Possibly about his future as a hero, for all you know. Or he might try to to get him into a confession or something. Try to, to make him say things he didn't mean. Bully him. Coerce him in some kind of way. I, I promise you I'm not. Why should I trust you, Mom? It's okay. Alright. Fine. As yes, this is Nagan pretty much talking with Izuku. He's just trying to get explanations. Like, how did you do that? How did you know? I know where he keeps everything. Really? Yeah. Would you mind telling me? That depends. As he opens up a portal and a handgun comes out. Hmm. No bullets? Unless... Him just cocking back the gun and... This is a blank. Wait, no. Hmm. Yeah. You were sent here to kill me, weren't you? Yes. Hmm. Oh. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. I just... I'm tired. I don't know what to do anymore. I aided you in killing my father. I aided him in countless thefts. And killing those people. Is there something wrong with me? What are you talking about? I feel bad for everything. Everyone that died, I I don't like, I didn't, they were just doing their job and my dad, even my, he died, I, is it? Is it my fault? No, 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 no. None of this is your fault, kid. Okay. Your dad made his choices, and now he's paid, paying for them. Okay. Just, yeah, but it never what happened without my stupid quirk. You were an accomplice, not the mastermind. He gave the orders, you followed them. Even <sighs> the commander is as guilty as the soldiers, and vice versa. I could have tried saying no. And he probably would have hurt your mom. Or you. If he did. Yes, he's done some immoral things. Yes, he used you to commit them. But that does not make you as bad. The fact that you, you feel... Uh, 
I, I'm not good with this kind of, usually it's me shooting and I just leave, I, I'm gonna go, wait, I have a question, what, what is it, do you trust them, who, The Hero Association, or whatever, the, the ones that put the hit out on us. <sighs> Honestly, I don't know anymore. When I, when I was young, I wanted nothing more to be a hero, but... Do I have the right to call myself that anymore? I... <sighs> okay, I... I gotta go. As the gun, she drives off and goes... She asks Yuku what happened and which is like... And she just told me that my quirk was a very interesting and helpful one. I can help with evacuations. I can help uh, get, you know, medical attention to those who need it. You know, just usual stuff. Really? Yeah. It was fine. She didn't hound me for answers or anything. Promise. Okay. If you say so. Just then, say two weeks, Lady Nagan shows back up again. As, yeah, she's been spending more, more time with Yuzuku, talking with him. Uh, like, so. Did you talk to them again? Yeah. In fact, they said they wanted to, to do some target practice. What? Yeah, if anything, I talked with them again about turning you into a type of agent, but they want to see your core be more used for combat and special missions. Oh. Okay. As then more months go by, Izuku is now... Let's say he's 13. Even Nagano was at his birthday. It's weird. It sounds like Azashi never existed. He goes happier. Izuku, though he does still have a few nightmares, he does have, find it possible to crack a smile. And again, she's been lying. So, on his 13th birthday, she decided to actually come clean. They don't want Yuzuku as an agent. They've been hounding her, poking and prodding at her to kill him. Yuzuku, hearing this, is... He is shocked, but not surprised. Of course he's like, then why, the why have you been spending so much time with me and my mom? Because I refused to do it. He even gave me a sniper rifle so I wouldn't even have to use my cork on you. 
figured that would make it easier for me. So, are you going to do it? No. I'm going to tell them exactly what why I should have a before. But this time I have more uh, comic relief. Uh, yes. She goes straight back to them and tells them that they can take this sniper rifle and shove it where the sun don't shine. She's not gonna kill Izuku. And she walks off. <sighs> of course. Of course this would be a problem. What could you expect if he's still a child? Yes, but... But of course, like his wealth of building got a hold of him. That could be very problematic. Why don't we listen to Nagan's offer again? Reconsider our fact on killing the boy. No. <sighs> but we will have to find someone else, possibly. But how? Well, as much time as she's been spending with him, he may be quite a handful. I mean, the way he moves bullets around. Hell, if we actually went to the authorities about this, we are the authorities. We could just weave together whatever story we want. But we have no proof. But why are the pictures that Nagan took? Nagan is the one who has them. So only if we could place all the thefts on the boy and his father, we have no proof and we see we would just be harassing an innocent boy and his family. Then what do we do? Hmm. He's gotten rather friendly with this Nagant, hasn't he? Yes. Whatever. Let's use that. Chances are she didn't tell him about hmm, too much. Hopefully. <sighs> okay. Out with it. What do you have in mind? Because this is pretty much Izuku training with the guy, and, and uh, yeah, they've gotten a lot closer compared to how they were when they first met. Most to the point where Inko, she's pretty much seeing her as, huh, a great role model for Izuku. But as soon as Izuku is home after hanging out with Nagant, Inko runs into his room and hugs him, seeing if he's alright. Then, what, what, what's wrong? What happened? Where is Nagant? What? As he sees police officers, uh, what's going on? We have uh, reason to believe that Lady Nagant was the one who killed your father. What? Wait, what? We have a sniper rifle with her fingerprints on it. Wait, but is there something wrong? Wait, um, no, no, nothing, nothing is wrong. It's just... Wait, but why? What? Why what? Then why would she spend so much time? Who knows? Your father was uh, seen as a sketchy person. Perhaps she thought that 
you or your mother knew about the things he was accused of stealing. Thinking maybe that if she got close enough to you or your mother that they would, uh, well, at least that she will be able to get her hands on it herself. No, no, no. That's... But she was so nice. Inko holding him. I'm so sorry for allowing that woman to get so close to you. Izuku, something doesn't smell right here. Is he like, nah, I smell bullshit. He doesn't say this, but he's definitely thinking it. Please leave, so please let us know if you know anything. If you see her or she tries to get into contact with you, please alert us. If she does call, allow us to listen it in and whatnot, you know, the whole the whole spiel and what whatever they would say. As yes, Izuku, he can't risk calling her, she can't risk contacting him, none of that. But you, you may be able to tap phone lines and cell phone and whatnot, but a portal nah 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 nah. As Izuku summons two, at least one for his ear, one for his mouth. <clears throat> oh wait, that sounds so wrong. Is a... hello, Izuku? Did you hear? Yes, it's all over the news. I know. So they set they set you up. Yeah, yeah. C can you? Uh, meet up with me or anything. I, I doubt that. Yes, I have my portals, but ugh, mom, I doubt she would allow me to leave, especially after all this. Damn it! So what? What are you gonna do now? I, I don't know. I didn't plan for any of this. I didn't know. I didn't know these assholes would stoop so low. Oh, because I want to kill you. I'm sorry. No, this is. This is my mess. I'll get myself out of it. Are you sure? I can help you somehow. No. I can hide you. No, you can't. Pretty sure if I did try to leave Japan, Japan, they just have my mugshot or something. And identification, who knows, they might even put a bounty on my head by now. In a way, I have nowhere to really be safe. I need to, I need to find a, a way to clear my name and fix all this. Well, what if... No. What? No. Wait, you didn't even hear no. You are not going to say that you did it. Yeah. I'm not a stupid kid. I'm not allowing you to take the fall for something that I did. But you didn't do anything. You were just following... I know. I was following their orders, and they're just gonna allow their little soldier to take the fall. I. <sighs> but this is just how the world is. Why? It all depends on who holds the power. I can't change that fact. And you sure can't either. I'll figure something out. But right now, you need to focus on being as nonchalant, normal, but act like you feel hurt. What? But the, 
I I know, but if they feel like you're too calm, they're probably having someone watch you. You have to make it seem like you this blindsided you. You're shocked. You never expected any of this to happen. When it comes to your father, that someone that was close to you actually did it. You're gonna have to be a A class, A S class actor when it comes to this. Just don't overdo it. Um. Oh, okay. But that's gonna be a lot easier said than done. I believe me, you kid. As the portals disappear, Zuku's. Oh, this, this sucks. As, yes, this is about time when he finally turns fourteen. They're still looking for Nagan, her being able to narrowly escape. Aizawa's on in on it. Snipe is on it. Hell. Hawks. The thing is, she's still <laughs> she's still one that they would not want to go up against. I mean, they still know her. It's pretty much like okay, yeah. I mean, if we can catch her off guard or anything, yeah, we, we could have a chance. But at the end of the day, we don't want to get in a shootout with this woman. This is about the time when Izuku. It's like. I have to find her. Him trying to trace her through his old portals of when they used to talk. And finding her. What he sees is pretty much her beat up, cuts, bruises, out of breath, and carrying a pistol. You can only guess that yes, that thing is loaded and the safety is always on. At least when she, when she feels like uh, she's safe. Don't want to alert anyone by accident. But when he does actually see her, he wakes her up trying to I don't care what you say. Alcohol may burn, but that's a good thing. It indicates like, yeah, we possibly saved your life. Her, on the other hand, it almost ended Izuku's. Because as soon as it starts burning, she <laughs> unloads the whole clip. One thing is, Izuku just <laughs> teleports all the bullets somewhere where not only could the sound not be heard from the current location, but also the bullet shells, casings are huh, not in the same area. Herds, I am so sorry. Like, no. Yeah, it's my fault for trying to help a little bit when you're on edge. Thank you. Wait, but wait, why are you here? How did you? <laughs> Don't you remember? I uh, gave you something to remember me by whenever we're, we were apart. Uh, oh, you bastard. That's right. I forgot you marked me. Wait, wait. Now, how come you haven't come to see me? I didn't want you to have to... I didn't want to interrupt you. Uh, I didn't want to get... I wanted to get your privacy. You never tried to contact me, so I felt like uh, I give you your space or whatever. Let you try to handle it yourself. Well, thank you. Now you can leave. Is 
they start talking for hours. Izuku could use that town no juice too. You know, he's an anime protagonist. Why not? It's just... <laughs> It gets dark, and Izuku he just realizes, "Oh shit, I got, I gotta go." As the gun, she's. But I guess I should leave too. But so she starts up her car. 